Good afternoon. Welcome. Good to see everybody. Thank you, Gwen. I needed that <laughs> positive feedback. Uh, another exciting day for Oregon softball, and appreciate you all joining us here today so that we can introduce our new coach, uh, Missy Lombardi, as well as her family, John, and her son, Gianni. Welcome, guys. Glad to have you. Um, Obviously, when we set out to find the next leader, uh, we were looking somebody with uh, a tremendous track record to build on the foundation that's already here. And everywhere that we turned uh, to the experts in the college softball world, we kept hearing one name. Um, and that one name was Missy Lombardi. Obviously, her track record speaks for itself. Um, but as we got to meet her, we knew there was great alignment. Um, our values match her values, and what she's been able to do throughout an incredibly successful career fit with where our program was. Um, you look at what she values. That's student-athlete experience first and foremost. That's building great relationships with these young women while they're here, but then also carrying that on to after their playing days are done. That's important to us. Uh, obviously, you can look at the accomplishments, the national championships, the All-Americans, the players of the year um, that, that have uh, learned under Missy's tutelage. You can see what she's done with USA Softball. So in incredible track record. So we couldn't be more excited today to have Missy here. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you the new head coach of Oregon Women's Softball, Missy Lombardi. Good afternoon. It's great to be in Eugene. Uh, it's a privilege to be the head coach at the University of Oregon. First, I'd like to thank Athletic Director Rob Mullins and Deputy Athletic Director Lisa Peterson. Both of them have been tremendous in this whole process. Um, from the very moment when I stepped on campus and I started having conversations with them, I knew I wanted to work with both of them. I knew that I could have a great relationship with both of them and the three of us could do great things here. Uh, my husband came with me as well uh, to Eugene, and we both just felt the overwhelming support, um, the family environment, which is which is very big for me. I know as a coach, not only are you trying to be very successful as a coach, but I think you have to have a great balance with your team, um, with your job, but also with your family. That's something that was really, really important to me in making this decision. And I felt like when we were here on campus, we felt that family atmosphere, um, and we felt just an overwhelming support. Uh, since the announcement came out, the, our student athletes here have been great. Thank you so much. Um, they've been just so supportive, and I've had great conversations with them. Um, I think we are going to hit it off right from the start and just not stop. So I just, I've, I've appreciated how they've reached out to me and um, just how supportive they've been through this process. This is a tough process for them. Anytime there's a change, it can be a tough process. And I think they've handled it extremely well. But I, um, with that, I look forward to creating great relationships with them on the field and off the field. Um, I'm very committed to enhancing their student athlete experience. To me, I think that is huge. I think anytime as a student athlete, your experience can be everything that you thought it would be when you come on campus. I think that allows you to just settle in on the field and softball becomes easy. So I, I look forward to that. I think this is a uh, this possess position is a tremendous opportunity for me and for my new staff. Um, First off, I get to go to work every single day in this beautiful stadium right here in James Sanders. Uh, I truly believe it's the best in the nation. Also, I get to look in the stands every day with all of our home games and see the great fans. Talk about a home field advantage here. The atmosphere here at Jane Sanders is phenomenal. And to me, before we even throw out the first pitch, I feel like we have the absolute advantage. We have the home field advantage being here in front of these great fans. So I was impressed. I got to come here uh, last spring, and I couldn't believe the crowds and how excited the people were for Oregon softball. It just it blew, it blew me away. So to be able to come um, to work every day at the stadium, but also to be able to just see a packed house 
whether it's Pac-12 or whether it's, um, you know, early season opponents, I, I can't wait. I'm, I'm looking forward not only to hearing the crowd roar, but getting to meet um, a lot of these um, supporters that have been here every single game. Um, we've talked a lot about student athlete experience and with their athletic experience, but for me, the education, education wise, I was um, really, really impressed with the resources that our student athletes have here. To me, if, if you're struggling here, then you're not willing to work hard. There's too many resources, there's too many support staff, um, too many people that care about our student athletes that want to see them have nothing but success. And to me, you're a student first, and then you're an athlete. And if I'm doing well in the classroom, then it's going to be really easy for me to do well on the softball field. But again, I was just overwhelmed with the athletic res um, academic resources and just the incredible uh, academic support here. Um, Oregon has been very successful, and I look forward to the challenge. I look forward to the challenge of Pac-12 championships and national championships. Um, I want my standard doesn't change. I, I expect to compete every year for championships and to be able to have our athletes excel in the classroom, to excel on the field, but more importantly, to excel as people in the community. So I'm looking forward to working with each one of that one of them, and seeing their growth and um, just the great things that they're going to be able to accomplish while they're here at Oregon. Um, at, o at Oklahoma, I was just did I just I only worked with the pitchers and catchers, but I've also worked with our hitters and with our defense as well. So I um, one I'm going to bring in a great staff that's going to allow me to handle each area. Um, one thing that I, I love about this program is that they are a veteran program. They've done a lot of great things, and so for me, I think there's I don't have to come in and change a whole lot with them. They're great athletes to begin with, but I think just giving them something different um, that maybe they haven't gotten in the past is going to go a long way for us. And then as regards to Chelsea Spencer, from what I was told, that she was hired at Texas. Mm-hmm. My plan is right now, and I've been um, dealing with USA Softball this summer, which has been an unbelievable experience, but I am right in the middle of bringing in a great staff that will complement me as a coach, but also um, really be able to really get in the mix with our student athletes and get to our first practice and go. So I, I'm actually right in the middle of that right now, and that's something that I'm looking to get situated very soon. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been at Oklahoma for a very long time, and I think a lot of people thought that I would just never leave Oklahoma. Uh, but for me, I knew in order to, to leave Oklahoma, it was going to take a really special place. And what was pretty neat is that this past spring, we were able to come to Oregon and to play. And when I, I remember, I remember when we got off the bus and I walked up and I just got to see how beautiful the stadium was and the fans were already here and just the environment, it was, it was awesome. I loved the college town environment and I loved how supportive the fans were for softball. That, that's, that's pretty awesome. So I just, I felt that instantly. And I, I walked into a lion's den. <laughs> Literally walked into a lion's den, and I feel like we walked in and walked out, and it was that quick. So, but, um, but even though it didn't go our way, I loved every minute of it, and I could see myself here. And I, at that time, did I think this was going to be open? Not at all. But then when this position opened, it was something that had my interest uh, because I could see the success and um, what we can do here at Oregon, so it was something that intrigued me and 
once I came here on my visit and I stepped on campus, I could feel it. I just knew. I, I think it's funny. Anytime, you know, you're dealing with recruits and they go to different campuses, you talk to them about, you'll know because it's in your heart. And that's what I felt like when I walked away. I felt like that Oregon was in my heart and it was time for me to begin my head coaching career. Mm-hmm. So I'm wondering if you're prepared for the challenges of being a head coach, mm-hmm. you know, seeing your own background, and if you have some specific, specific thoughts for, for who to take as, uh, as a head coach in this current era. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, my title has been associate head coach, yeah. so that associate's in the way. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> and now, now it is head coach, but um, I'm very confident. I, I've been coaching for 21 years and I'm very confident with my philosophy, philosophy and my coaching style and the way that I connect with our athletes that I'm going to come in and we're going to get things done here. I'm and very confident. Of assistance, being in of Excuse me? And being in charge of assistance. Yes, definitely. De- definitely. And that's something that even though, like I said, I was an associate before, I've uh, the responsibilities that I have as an associate um, have definitely prepared me. Uh, my time at Oklahoma has prepared me to come into Oregon and take this job and not miss a beat. I'll take one more before we go to one more drop. I believe you have a staff that else the next few weeks hold. Do you typically this time of year you might be hosting camps? Is there recruiting to be done? Mm-hmm. How does it- there, the next week, few weeks, I think are probably going to be a little fast and furious, just trying to, I have a lot of different things going on, obviously trying to get involved with recruiting. I've been talking with our athletes and getting them situated for the fall. Um, I know we did have a camp scheduled, and just with the timing of everything, I did decide to cancel that just because I felt like, um, to me, if, I, if I'm going to do something, I want to do it 100%. I don't want to... Um, cut corners so I would rather delay the date with the camps and then be able to have a quality camp when I'm here full time so um, another thing is just I have my family and we're trying to move and relocate and find schools and there's just a ton of things going on but it's there's a lot of things going on but it's a lot of great things that are going on so I think within these next couple weeks I'll get these things situated and um, things will start to calm a little bit but it's a good it's a good um, a lot that's going on.